Okay, here we are with Gleipnir, episode 2, and yeah, last episode was weird and interesting. And had some good fan service for the first episode, I would say. <laughs> um, but yeah, <clears throat> so we ended last episode with a cliffhanger, so I guess we will see what happens next, right? How do they get out of the situation with someone that can transform and seems like way more adapted to it, right? So, yeah, will be interesting, I guess. And to see what happens next, right? So, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think, and I would say let's get to the episode. <clears throat> Starting with the opening. So this time I have to pay attention maybe more to, do I want to pay attention? <clears throat> I mean, this is a problem with openings. They can sometimes spoil us some stuff, right? Like, for example, in Jujutsu Kaisen, <clears throat> when I watched it, and you see, um, what's his name? Uh, Yunpei or something? In... In episode, what was it, 12? It looks like he is like turned into like some weird curse monster or whatever and is maybe dead or something. But since you see him in the intro sitting next to uh, Itadori, you know, yeah, he's fine, right? So some stuff that seems like, oh yeah, this seems not good. The intro basically can reveal, oh, that person's fine. That's why I normally skip intros all the time. <laughs> Maybe I should just not focus at them, don't pay attention. Until the anime is over and then I can pay attention at the last episode or some shit. <clears> okay, <throat> hey, this is a girl. Is this a girl we saw at the first episode at the beginning? That she grabbed this and went to the vending machine with it? <clears throat> Okay, so she's very athletic, and then... <clears throat> she finds a coin, goes to the machine. I think that's her, right? And then the boy comes out, right? Okay, I think we didn't solve that. Yep. <clears throat> so it's human lookalikes that and she gets power so it's like human lookalikes that give them the power to transform well not quite under control yet Didn't know that this would happen. <coughs> she wants more coins, okay. Oh, and she sees them passing by with the coin. So maybe that she wants to return that stuff? And that's why she wants a coin? 
So it grants wishes, I think, maybe. Maybe she wished to be faster or something. Okay. <clears throat> so I guess my assumption was somewhat right, right? From last episode? But she seems to know more, right? <laughs> He's like, nope, I'm out of here. <laughs> He's a wimp. <clears throat> she said something about gather us, so she seems to know more about it. <clears throat> I don't want to kill. Right? No, she wants to. <laughs> oh. Yeah, right, I mean, who could you tell about it, right? There's a monster that is following us, and we he's also a monster. I mean, he doesn't know about it, I guess. <clears throat> he doesn't know. What's inside the zipper? <clears throat> what might be inside? Oh. I mean, I know what will happen, right? She goes inside him. <clears throat> You're just a shell. How does she know where they are? Let's go. Oh, I would be like, yeah, jump in. Let's take a ride. 
<laughs> How should he know? Imagine you just get digested. God damn. <laughs> How does she close the zipper from inside? It just closes by itself? Convenient. <laughs> I guess it just feels weird, right? Oh. You'd imagine the roles would be reversed and the girl would be the costume and the guy would go inside and he would pop a boner. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I have to rewatch that part. I take control. <laughs> All right. Now he's ready. Inside me. <laughs> I guess the f the fluffness of the costume maybe is some kind of airbag, kind of like. <laughs> oh, that must hurt. <clears throat> she doesn't even know you, or he. How does she know? She gets pissed. She gets sweaty. <laughs> Must be warm inside, right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's just a punching bag now. He's like, Stop, you're killing her. And she's like, Yeah, that's the point. What happens if he just transforms back? What happens then?
Maybe he can't because she's inside. So he's maybe just a tool in the state. Oh! Oh my god. Oh. Ah. I mean, you're not doing it. Ah, ah, holy shit, dude. I don't think you can. Well, I guess it's not a toy. Is she really dead, or can she recover from this somehow? He just wants to have a normal life. Oh, a girl? You have a girlfriend? Hmm? Oh, there she is. <clears throat> if I call, you answer. I'm your boss. <laughs> I want to do it again. I think he didn't enjoy it as much. I mean, it is kinda, you used his body basically. <laughs> I mean, they didn't have to kill her, right? She. I mean, maybe they did. I don't want to fight. He is strong and she is unhinged. Goddamn. Hell yeah. Let's go. <laughs> I guess that's all valid points, right? Oh. 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, she already tried, right? Cushion. The older sister, okay. She gave her the coin. Half a year earlier. Oh. Okay. Hello. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, my prediction from last episode, how this whole vending machine thing goes, is somewhat right. Because my first prediction was that the monster finds a coin, go to the vending machine, then a human duplicate comes out, and they possess the human, unknowingly, to the human. Which is wrong, obviously. And my second prediction was that the human finds a coin, as a coin goes to the vending machine, and then a monster, or a human shaped person comes out that is a monster and possesses a human which is also not quite right but the human that comes out seems to be a being that just looks like a human that can grant wishes or maybe i don't think that it actually is a human that would be kind of weird why he would why he could come out of a vending machine and could grant wishes so i guess it's a being that looks like a human right and he grants wishes which i th Seems like it's the ability ability to transform. I wonder if you can grant wishes like wealth or like being always healthy or something like that, right? If it's like any wish or specific wishes. And the only reason why our main character doesn't know about this whole thing that he can transform is because someone wish, wished for him to be able to transform. <clears throat> Makes me wonder, did the person that wished for that choose him specifically? Or did she just choose someone because I guess she just maybe wants to meet the uh, the costume, the mascot, right? Because she, she had a keychain and that's why he looks so specific, right? Because she wanted to maybe meet that mascot or something, I don't know. I guess we will find that out if it was specifically him that she wished for him to be able to transform into that mascot or not. Um, but yeah, that person looked a bit like Claire, right? The red eye color, face shape, similar, but she didn't have freckles and obviously the hair color was wrong. And if we s remember the scene where we saw her sister, I guess that's when she was a bit, quite a bit younger, 
she already had like the blonde hair, right? So might be not Claire that wished for that to happen for him. But if it is, because maybe it is Claire that wished for that, because maybe she knew that she couldn't fight these monsters alone, maybe. And so maybe she wished for that because she knew she could use the costume to go inside and use it to fight. Maybe, maybe that was her whole point. So maybe it's a plot of Claire to do this, right? But maybe not, because like I said, no freckles, no blonde hair. So maybe it's just a coincidence that she has red eyes and has a similar face shape and like hair length is pretty similar. We will have to wait and see how that gets turned out, right? And so, yeah, <clears throat> the other girl that we fought, now we know more about her. She was an, a person that got into the school as an athlete, but couldn't, wasn't fast enough at running to make it into the nationals, which is basically failing the point, right? Because the schools, at least in Japan, I don't know how it works in anywhere else in the world, but if you get into a school as an athlete, then they want to see results, right? You have to be good. And if you can't do that, then it's bad. And I guess they can maybe revoke that from you. So maybe that you get sent to another school or something, right? I don't know how it works exactly. But yeah, because she's not having good times at running, she basically fails her point in the school. That's the harsh reality of those things. And that's why she found the coin and went to the vending machine to get probably better at running, right? And, and then she found out, oh shit, I'm transforming. And then she got afraid, I guess, or anxious. And I guess she wanted to find another coin to maybe get another wish to maybe turn it back, right? Um... I wonder how long she was in that form, being able to transform or not. Because all we saw is that she did the wish, was better, turned into a monster, was anxious, I think, tried to find another coin, and while she was looking for another coin at the, in the grass, she saw our main characters talking about the coin and just followed them, right? But she also knew something about gatherers or something, <clears throat> and knew that she had to fight those, so... Who are gatherers? How much did, did she know? interesting right uh but yeah we don't know if she's dead or not because i mean she got a clear shot through by the gun and it's not like a small gun so she might be dead would be a bit weird i would say if we get a backstory to her and then she just dies and is gone right so maybe she still is alive somehow maybe she could recover somehow but i mean in the fight she was kind of desperate right but she already was defeated when she got her leg broken because she was in shock and was like, I can still run, I can still run, um, even though her leg was broken. <clears throat> and then obviously Claire shot her. So, yeah. I, I would say they could have maybe let her live without shooting her, right? Because she wouldn't be a threat anymore with a broken leg. But I can see both sides, like, obviously our main character side, I forgot his name, I don't know. Um... He doesn't want to kill because he's more the shy and reserved guy, right? And I can also see Claire's side because who knows what she could do, right? She could go somewhere, tell someone, and then maybe more people know about them and it's they are being, like, followed and attacked and shit. So I can see both sides that killing to be safe, not killing because not wanting to kill someone, right? So it's a bit conflicting in that sense, right? Um, but yeah, but... Maybe she is still alive somehow. I guess we have to find out and wait. And so, yeah. We still don't know who Claire tried to call. Maybe it was her sister Claire tried to call in the first episode. And since she didn't get any information, I couldn't contact her because the number is not available. And maybe she has had like no leads to monsters and shit. Maybe she gave up hope and tried to kill herself until our boy... Uh, rescued her, saved her, and then she had a lead, and now she has, like, reason to live. But not completely, because, like he said, she made the deal, like, hey, here, we do this together, and if you die, I die, and if, right? And he's like, yeah, what if I want to die right now? And she's like, okay, let's die, basically. So she is, has a resolve to just die. It's not like it's gone completely. <clears throat> um, but maybe she just did it because she knew that he would save them. So maybe she's playing some mind games, right? We don't know how 
we don't know her character well enough, I would say, right? If she's, like, really resolved in those ways that she would be ready to die, if he wants to die, if she means it how she says it or not, or if she just plays some mind games because she figured him out, basically, how his character is, right? So that could be all very interesting going forward to see how it turns out. But yeah, like I said, I think it's very interesting how, so far, how it goes and the whole dynamic. And yeah. Also, our main character, very much anxious and afraid of what's going on right now because, again, he doesn't know why he is a monster and all that stuff. And is just afraid, like, what is happening with him? Can he die? Will he die soon or something? suddenly or will he at some point not be able to transform back anymore that's why he's so afraid of this monster power and transformation so yeah it's i mean it makes sense because like i said he's like the more reserved and shy guy and if something like this happened to him then yeah it's like very crazy for him and induces like the anxiety and all that stuff so it makes sense i i've seen some people say that they think he's such a wimp and all that stuff but i mean again i have like some mira and nikki vibes from it where the main character is also like a wimp and you have you know who did it who does all the fighting in this badass and i it's similar here right so i don't mind it i think it's an interesting dynamic and i mean i I personally get it. I mean, if I would suddenly turn out to be like that, right? I mean, it will never happen, obviously, right? <laughs> because we are not in an anime world. But if something like that would happen, I think I would also be afraid. Like, what the fuck is going on? I mean, I I might be, like, hyped up. Like, hell yeah, let's go. I have powers. But if you think about it, you don't know what happens, right? What if you transform and someone sees you and makes a photo of you and then suddenly you don't know what, what's going on? Some people are looking for you, trying to kill you, maybe because you are seen as a monster or some shit. So, or maybe they want to experiment on you, like, why is this person able to, to transform? You you don't know what will happen, right? It's, it's crazy shit. So, I can get that you will be afraid and have anxiety and all that shit. But yeah, like I said, interesting episode, definitely want to keep watching. I think it just got more interesting. The sister part... The other person that wished him to be able to transform or whatever is going on with that. And the whole dynamic that she's like, yeah, we do this together. I go and you do the fighting. You you are the power. And if you die, then I will die too and all that stuff. I think it's very interesting. I can't wait to see more. So yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.